hello everyone how are you all i hope you all are doing your best so today i'm going to teach you a new lesson that is chapter number 6 celebrating bihu let me first read out the lines of this story and then i'm going to explain you so without getting late let's start Ma Baba and I were traveling to Guwahati to visit Aunt Ratna's family. I was very excited to visit Assam. Aunt Ratna had once told me that Assam is one of the most beautiful states in India. She had also said that Assam is very rich in agriculture. and the three harvest festivals of bihu are its most important celebrations i asked baba to tell me more about bihu he said the assamis celebrate three types of bihu in a year rongali bihu at the start of the sowing of seeds kongali bihu when the sowing is completed and bhogali bihu at the end of the harvesting period in fact we are going just in time for rongali bihu said ma with a twinkle in her eye when we reached guwahati we were welcomed warmly by uncle pramod and aunt ratna my parents told them how eager i was to know about bihu and they enthusiastically described the festival to me rongali bihu is the assamese new year began uncle it marks the coming of spring we usually celebrate it in the middle of april every year it is called rongali bihu because it brings happiness to people actually we celebrate rongali bihu over several days continued aunt ratna since bihu is about farming and cultivation farmers spend a whole day decorating their cattle they bath their cows and bulls with mahlodi a paste of some black gram and a little turmeric after this they decorate the animals with a few garlands as i listened to uncle and aunt i knew there was so much to learn about our festivals the next day we all wore new clothes and welcomed aunt and uncle's friends and relatives I couldn't stop eating the tasty laru and pita traditional assamese sweets I saw many people giving each other new hand woven cotton towels called gamoshas Aunt Ratna explained on this day the assamese greet each other welcome their guests and pay their respects to elders in the family by presenting them with new gamoshas she gifted me a lovely red and white gamosha as a keepsake on the third day of my visit we went along with aunt and uncle to watch a cultural program in a nearby park we watched many performances of bihu songs known as bihu geet and a few traditional bihu dances uncle pramod explained in the past people celebrated bihu only in the villages Those days bihu celebrations are common even in cities and towns. Old bihu songs are wonderful to listen to. You know they have been passed on from one generation to the next. Bihu dances are performed to the music of wonderful instruments like the dhol, the pepa, the tal, the gogona and the toka
I watched the Vihu dance performed by both men and women. It was so joyous. I loved its brisk steps and hand movements and joint in the dance. I was shy at first but soon began to fully enjoy the music and the steps. Everyone clapped when the dance ended. It was a truly delightful end to the day. Before leaving Guwahati, I promised Aunt Ratna that I would visit them again to participate in the two other Bihu festivals as well. Kongali Bihu, when farmers light sake or earthen lamps in the paddy fields and pray for a good crop and Bhogali Bihu with its feasting and bonfires. Now children, I am going to explain this chapter. Now this chapter is completely about the festival, the harvesting festival that is Bihu. Here the speaker went to Guwahati with his Baba and Ma, means with his parents, to visit Aunt Ratna's family. The speaker was very excited to visit Assam. He came to know about Assam that it is one of the most beautiful states in India. Assam is rich in agriculture and the three harvest festivals of Bihu are its most important celebrations. The Assamese means the people who are living in Assam, they are called Assamese. The Assamese celebrate three types of Bihu in a year. Now, children, I am going to explain you this chapter that is celebrating Bihu. This chapter is completely about the harvesting festival that is Bihu, which the Assamese celebrate now here the speaker went to Guwahati with his parents that is Baba and Ma to visit Aunt Ratna's family Aunt Ratna's family um, are living in Guwahati and the speaker went to their home with his Baba and Ma the speaker was very excited to visit Assam. He came to know about Assam that it is one of the most beautiful states in India. It is rich in agriculture and the three harvest festivals of Bihu are its important celebrations. The people of Assam, the Assamese, celebrate three types of Bihu in a year. What are the three types? Rongali Bihu, Kongali Bihu and Bhogali Bihu. Rongali Bihu is celebrated at the start of the showing of seeds. Kongali Bihu is celebrated when the sowing is completed. And the Bhogali Bihu is celebrated at the end of the harvesting period. They were visiting Aunt Ratna's house in the time of Rongali Bihu. That means at the start of the sowing of sheets. They were warmly welcomed by Uncle Pramod and Aunt Ratna. The speaker was eager to know means he was very excited to know more about Bihu. So, Uncle Pramod and Aunt Ratna had described him about this festival in details. Uncle Pramod said him that Rongali is the Assamese New Year. Every religion has their own New Year. They, were, they are celebrating their new year. Similarly, Rongali is what? Rongali is the Assamese new year. 
and it marks the coming of spring rongali bihu means it marks the coming of spring so this festival is celebrated in the middle of april month every year and thus it is called rongali bihu because this bihu brings lots of happiness in the life of assamese farmers spend their whole day in decorating their cattle they bath their cows and bulls with ma halodi now what is ma halodi ma halodi is a paste of some black gram and a little turmeric they decorate their animals also next day aunt ratnas and uncle pramod's friends visited their house everyone has worn new clothes the speaker loved to eat the tasty laru and pita laru and pita are the assamese sweet dish many people gifted each other with new hand woven cotton towels called gamoshas assamese greet each other welcome their guests and pay their respects to elders in the family aunt ratna gifted the speaker a lovely reed and white gamoshas as a keepsake on the third day the speaker went to watch a cultural program in a nearby park with his aunt and uncle they watched many performances of bihu songs known as bihu geet and bihu dances bihu is a festival which is not only celebrated in villages but also in towns and cities with enthusiastically bihu dances are performed to the music of wonderful instruments as you all can see in the picture like the dhol the pepa the tal the gogona and the toka so the speaker enjoyed their performance a lot which was performed by both men and women he loved the movement of the hands and he was shy at first but soon began to full fully enjoy the music and the steps of the men and women so he had he had enjoyed a lot during this festival and while leaving guwahati he promised his aunt and uncle that he would return again to participate in the two other bihu festivals as well kongali bihu when farmers light saki or earthen lamps in the paddy fields and pray for a good crop and bhogali bihu with its feasting and bonfires So this is the end of this chapter I hope you have understood thank you and if you like my video then don't forget to subscribe my channel